In this video, we're going to talk about AI image generation, the technology that has become the foundation for tasks like creative prototyping, virtual staging, and ad creation. We'll cover Google's models, best practices, and show you how to generate high-impact assets today. Now, I'll hand it off to my colleague Katie to show all this in action. Hey everyone, I'm Katie, a developer relations engineer for generative media on Vertex AI. First, let's start with the basics. AI image generation is the process of creating a brand new image from a text prompt. In this video, we'll focus solely on that creation workflow. When building on Google Cloud, our most capable model for image generation and editing is Gemini Image, which is also known as Nano Banana. Nano Banana is a highly flexible, natively multimodal model that leverages the same world knowledge as Gemini, giving it incredible contextual understanding and consistency for complex edits. If you're starting with a text prompt, there are two primary ways you can use this model, generating a standalone image or generating a combined interleaved response of both text and images. Okay, so with that information, let's say we want to storyboard different ideas for characters in an ad campaign. For this task, we're first going to use Nano Banana to generate standalone images. Say we want to generate different cartoon character options like a robot in a desert, a penguin on a paddleboard, or a cactus in a cozy cafe. For each character, you'll start in Vertex AI Studio's chat environment and select the appropriate Gemini model. Type your detailed prompt into the chat. While simple prompts work, you'll get the best creative control by providing specific details. For instance, refine a cute 3D cartoon penguin on a paddleboard into the more descriptive, a cute cartoon penguin wearing a tiny brown sun hat is standing on a bamboo paddleboard mid paddle stroke. You can replicate this process programmatically using the Google Gen AI SDK for Python, like in this sample. Based on your prompts, your results from Nano Banana might look something like this. If you're interested in recreating these images, I've included the detailed prompts I used to get each output. Now that we've generated standalone images, let's look at an example where we generate both text and images. A great use case here is when you'd like to leverage Gemini's multimodal capabilities to write a tutorial and include instructive visuals. Maybe we'd like to generate a simple instruction set demonstrating how to thread a sewing needle. You use the same process we just walked through, just with a slightly different prompt. For each example, you could prompt, create a tutorial explaining how to thread a sewing needle in three easy steps. For each step, provide a title, an explanation, and also generate an image to illustrate the content. You might get a result like this. So to summarize, the key takeaway is the power of a natively multimodal model. Nano Banana gives you high quality visuals alongside deep contextual understanding, accelerating everything from creative storyboarding to instructing. Check out the links in the description below to access the documentation, along with all of the code samples and getting starting guides you need to bring your visuals to life. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.